Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see the new topic that is the integrals part one of it. So the past your questions on this topic, the integrals. So here, this is the question given over here. So that is d by dx of fx is equal to x plus b and f of zero is zero. Then we have to find out the value of this one, the f of x. So now first let us write the given thing, this over here. So what will we do here? We will integrate this. This is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. If, when we integrate this one, what do we get here? We get f of x and this will be integration a, a x plus b and we write whenever we write this in we write here dx so now uh, when we take out this into this one this is going to be a x plus b uh, this one that is going to be a x square divided by 2 plus b x plus c so this is the f of x so here now what are you going to do here so here yeah, the a remains here how did you get this one x square so you have to see that this coefficient means that will be x 1 plus 1 divided by this also will be 1 plus 1 that will be 2. So x is to 2 divided by 2 and a will remain the same and the, this is going to be bx and this we write uh, whenever we write here we write here c. So now we have here f of 0 is 0. So now uh, in place of this x you are going to write here 0. Now, if we are putting the, uh, wherever you see x, you are going to put 0. So if you put here 0, a into 0 divided by 2, that is going to be 0. Again, when we put here b into this uh, 0, that is going to be 0, and this c remains here. So now what you can see that is, means you can see here, c is 0. So now what are you going to put here? This c, you will put in this equation. So what? how will you write the equation? Because they are asked the what is f of x? So f of x means here in place of this c, you are going to put 0 and this remains the same. So we have f of x is equal to ax square divided by 2 plus bx. Now this is the integral e raised to 5 log x dx is equal to, we have to find out. So now see here this is given. So now if we remove this one, uh, uh, this integration sign, so what is that going to be? This for this part. First, we will not remove the integration sign. Let us see normally that this part. So this part is going to be, this 5 will go in the exponent. So this is a raised to. So now what will you get? This is the rule for that. Whenever you have e raised to log of x is to 5, that is going to be x is to 5. So now we will see here, so for this one, we wrote over here, this is nothing but what did we get here, this integration over here, and for this part, what did we get over here, that we got x is to 5, so we'll write here x is to 5 dx. Now what are we going to do, now let us look for this one. So now we are going to integrate uh, this one, uh, both this, uh, this one, so integrating this one, when we integrate this one, so what will you get here, x is to 6, divided by 6 plus c. So how did you get this x is to 6? We have the formula that is integration of n, uh, x is to n dx that will be we have to add 1 to it and again that will be n plus 1. So now here n is 5, 5 plus 1 and here will be 5 plus 1 that is going to be 6, 6 divided by 6 plus c. So this is the answer for this one. So now let us see the, they said here find integration of 2x divided by cube root of x square plus 1 dx. So now this, the numerator 2x will be same, but if we uh, remove this square root sign, so what happens here, x square plus 1, this becomes 1 third. So now let us consider this x square plus 1 as t. So it can be anything, uh, this can be in place of t, you can use any other variable. So we have here I put here t. So now what are you going to do? This is going to be what? 2x dx will be. Uh, first thing what will you do? You will take the derivative of this one. So x square plus 1 is t. So let us take here x square means the derivative of this will be 2x. 2x dx is equal to dt. Then later on we will put here in this integration we will put here 
So here, see here, two x dx. So two x dx. So what is that? Two x dx is dt. So this is dt. And here, what did we consider this as? Here we considered this as t, and this is one by three. So now, what will we do? We will take this t raised to one by three. If we take in the numerator, that is going to be minus one by three, and this dt as it is. So now again, what will we do? We want to remove the uh, this one. So here. The integration of t is from one by three dt. So that will be what again we'll use the same formula what we did in the previous problem. So that is n plus one divided by x is two n plus one divided by n plus one plus c. So what is here? This n is you have to add one to it. And again, we will add one to it here. So now what we get get here minus one by three plus one. We will take the LCM of this one, so the LCM is three, so that will be minus one plus three by three. That will be two by three. So this the negative sign is gone. That is two by three over here. And again in the denominator also you will get two by three plus c. So now what you can do, see see here, this is in the fraction. So this will get flip over. So when it goes here, this is going to be three by two, and rest. All here, this is the same. So now, what we will do now? We have it's not completed yet because we have t over here, and we had assumed that t is x plus two in the start. So we are going to write in place of this t x plus two plus one to the two uh, you know, two divided by three. That is plus c. So this is the final answer. See that you don't for, forget to write this one. What you have substituted. Considered here, and you have to substitute over here. So this is an important step. Then we'll do that. Write the antiderivative of three root of x plus one by root of x. So now look at here. This is same thing what I wrote here. So here we will take the integration of this one, of this. So we are just put an integration sign and the same thing over here. So now this. Root of x, root of x can be written as x raised to one by two. So here uh, we will make it separately. We'll consider this as three x raised to one by two dx plus. For this one again, what we can write here? We'll make an integration sign means this is separate, this is separate. So one by again root x is one x raised to one by two. So that is in the denominator. So now look at here. This is the same. But now here, this is in the denominator, so let us put in the numerator. So this will be negative. So now this is a constant one. So we'll take outside the integration sign, yes, uh, this one, and the other part will keep as it is over here, and this whole part as it is for this step. So now we will use the rule. So what is the rule for this one? Whenever the integration is there, this is n. So what do you write here? X plus two n plus one divided by n plus one. So when you put here, we'll put here pl uh, plus one in this one, and so the integration sign is gone. And one by two plus one. Again for this one, we'll do the same thing. My minus one by two plus one and minus one by two plus one. And of course, you don't forget to write this plus c. So now what will be there? One by two plus one. So that means the LCM is two. So one plus two by two that will be three by two. So this all will be same. And here for this one you will write three by two. Same for here also three by two. And here minus one by two plus one. So here it will be the LCM is two. So minus one plus two by two that will be one by two. So this is a positive one by two. So this also will be one by two plus. Now see here this year again here this is going to get flip over. So here this is going to be two by three. So this three is as it is. That this becomes two by three, and this as it is in the numerator. So now this becomes again what this will be flip over means this one by two will be two. So this is two, and this as it is plus c. So now here we can cut this three and three. So what remains over here is two x three by two plus two x one by two plus c. So now look at here for this one. X raised to three by two. We can also write that as x into x raised to this one uh, no, root of x. So how is that? Why is this uh, root of x? Because x and root of x is x raised to one by two. Root of x is x raised to one by two. So whenever we write x, 
x into x is to 1 by 2. So whenever we write x, this is actually 1. So we, uh, what we, in exponents, we have seen that the, when the base is same, this should be added whenever there is this multiplication. So 1 plus 1 by 2, that is going to be 3 by 2. So for this one, x is to 1 by 2, we can just write here root of x. Hope you got this one. This will be, hmm? so x into root of x. And here we have 2x half. So that is going to be, for this one, that is going to be root of x. So hope you got this. Why did we write here root of x? Because here we were getting root of x. So now what we can do over here, that we'll take the common. So root 2 root of x here as well as here we have. So what will you do? That thing we are going to write it only once. And what remains in the bracket? See, 2 root of x is gone. So x remaining over here. Here nothing remaining means plus 1. So see, when you expand this, you get the same as this one plus c. So this is the final answer. Now here we have to find out the antiderivative of 10x minus 1 divided by 10x plus 1 with the respect to x. So antiderivative is nothing but the uh, integral, this one. So here, now uh, this is the same what we are writing here. So now we will take the integration of that one, same but here dx. So this can be rearranged because we have the formula 1 minus 10x plus divided by 1 plus 10x. So when we rearrange, so if we bring this 1 on this side, there is minus over here. And here, so what will we do? Minus will take outside here and we write the integration sign. So here will be minus 1. And actually 10x means it's plus. So this will be plus. Hope you got this when we rearrange this. And here we can write the same because here what happens here? Plus 1 means either you write uh, 10x plus 1 or 1 plus 10x because both is positive, both is the same. So here no changes, but only in the numerator there will be changes because here is minus. So here dx. So now we have the formula for 1 minus x divided by 1 plus uh, 10x. That will be 10 pi by 4 minus 10x because 1 is here pi by 4. Pi by 4 means we consider this pi means that will be 180 by 4. So that will be 4 fours are 16 and 4 fives are 4. So 10 45 that is 1. So minus this 10x and here will be 1 plus this 10x. Well, this will, We can also write this as 10 pi by 4 and 10x dx. So now what is this? This whole thing is nothing but this one. 10 pi by 4 minus x. So this minus sign remains as it is. That is dx. So this is also we can write this as minus log of. This will be sec of pi by 4 minus x plus c. Now here, integration of sec x divided by sec x minus 10x equals. So let us consider this as i. This is the same thing. Let us consider this i. So now what will we do? We will multiply and divide by sec x plus 10x. So this i is here, you know, this sec x as it is. We are multiplying by sec x plus 10x. Again, this is as it is in the denominator. And we are multiplying by sec x plus 10x dx. So here what we do here? Now, when we multiply, see here, this into this, this into this. So what is that going to be? This into this is going to be 6 square x. And this plus, you will put here plus x, sec x, 10x. And here, see here, this is sec x minus 10x. And this is sec, sec x minus plus 10x. So this is going to be a minus b. And this is a plus b. Can you see both are, why we say a, this means both sec x, sec. And both are 10. So a minus b and a plus b, that is, we have the formula a minus b and a plus b, that is a square minus b square. So see here, this a is, the, so this will be a square minus b square. And now this is same what we wrote that we have expanded, we have written it on the numerator. So now you, you know that sec x minus, sec square x minus 10 square x, that is 1. So the, there is the numerator, we will keep it as it is. So anything divided by 1 is going to be the same. So now we will uh, write it separately. For this one, we can write integration sec square x dx. Again, we'll put a sign there. For this, we'll write a separate integration that is sec x dx. So what will we do? We know the integration of sec square x dx that is nothing but 10x. And for sec x, integration of sec x dx that is sec x. And this we have to write whenever we write here, we have to write plus c. So this is the answer. So by this, we have completed today's work. So do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.